-hmm. It's a good day. It is a good day. It is a great day. It is a good day. It is a good day. It is a great day. Yes, man. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just sharing as I go, just sharing my the information. Good morning, Janice Jones. You know, you have to share the information ASAP, right? Yeah, man, that's how we do it. You have to just, you know, as you go on, you share the information so that others can find you and thing and thing and thing. Yes, man. Today we are making a very, very delicious dish, a very nutritious dish, and a dish that is a super dish. <laughs> oh, that's how it seems. sound very, you know. Yeah, man. So today we are making um, a, a Caribbean special, a Caribbean special dish. Yeah. And we invite you to come be a part of it. We're running a little bit late, guys, but good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful morning. Let me turn on the, the light. Woohoo. It is. A, you want me to cut them? Let's see. I'm afraid you cut things in the You know why you cut it? You want me to cut them? Or you use a, you use a special super cutter? It's too thick. Now make it too thick, big darling. The lady is thick in three. The lady down my pot. The lady there trying to mash up my thing. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you guys doing out there? in uh, internet land we do hope that you are staying safe and that you are making sure that you stay away from all of the you know whole of people them and all these things social um waiting in the meeting said that to tick and that i go cause we in a problem because we might not end up with all the slices over and what we need that's what i'm thinking because we need all the slices we can. Today we are making, as you saw in the chat room, we are making pastelon. I'm hoping that I pronounced it correctly. Pastelon. Pastelon. Let her be her herself. Ferdinand, good morning to you. Jesus, peace. Ferdinand, Ferdinand, I defend you, see. Mm -hmm. And so let her be herself. Hmm. Ferdinand, stop me trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Freddy. Oh, of oh, oh, West Palm Beach. Hmm? Everything all right up there on a practicing social, um, we call it social domestic. Wait, wait, name, see? Distance. Social distancing. Social distancing. Which means to stay away from one another. That's what social distancing means. Stay away from one another. And that's the newest term that I can use. All right, let me show you um, real quick what we're doing. Today we're making pastelion. And we are, see, so we have, Lorna, good morning. We have some plantains there that we have cut. And we are going to, let me just show you how we we'll just cut these plantains right quick. All right, and these are ripe plantains, guys. If you have not ever seen a plantain in its ripe stage, because we know there's not, it's not only Caribbean people watching, you want to take your knife and go along go along the back of it like such and you want to remove the skins all right once you have removed the skins you're gonna take your knife and you're just gonna cut it in half all right once you have cut it in half then you pretty much want to make several other slits now you have to be careful guys the way in which i'm holding the knife is not necessarily the safest way all right see that and i'm gonna try to get one more slice out of this see that all right and we're just gonna fry these up yeah 
and so you're gonna try to get one more slit out of this one and we are good to go all right let me wash my hands real quick Cut this first one in two. If you can't, you want me to try? Just put the rest in and, and I will, you know. All right, so we're going good, good, good. We're going good, good, good. All right. Oh, the internet is, is, is empty this morning, man. The internet is empty this morning. If you're on, please let us know where you're on from so that we can give you a shout out, all right? Now, I'm gonna pair my plantains with some Beyond Meat. I normally don't use the Beyond Meat crumbles and stuff, but I did not want, the, the normal way to do it is to use ground beef. And I didn't want to use ground beef this morning. Sometimes you have to just give your body a break from the meat. And so I'm trying the Beyond Meat and it is plant protein, all right? It's, um, um, uh, gluten free and soy free and it's based on plant and it, it comes like a uh, mincemeat it's like mincemeat and today it was it was uh the price was very 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 reasonable in my local Publix and so I bought some and we're gonna use that today to be so that this this pastelon can be a uh, somewhat of a vegan or vegetarian version because we now have the vegan cheese you know sometimes the vegan thing them too dear too expensive so yeah good morning Len Mad from New Orleans good New Orleans in the house hey Louisiana's in the house hey baby baby come on baby baby come on baby baby come on always always the always things in New Orleans is everything going good um there is not no martial law in place in New Orleans hey my brother Good morning, Joy from Miami Gardens. Miami Gardens in the house. Hey, Florida in the house. Hey. And, and Miami Gardens is, I, I must admit, out of all of the cities um, that, and the stories that I'm hearing, Miami Gardens is doing very well. May not tell no lie. Well, then, Matt, take back our good morning. <laughs> Put back your good morning, Len. Good morning, good morning, Len. Good morning. From New Orleans, good morning, Len. Big up yourself, and guys, let me show you where I'm at now. I'm just using some garlic because you're, you're gonna see how easy this recipe is. I, I could not believe that this recipe was so easy and so straightforward. It's from Puerto Rico. Is there anybody watching from Puerto Rico? I could big on up because this is an original Puerto Rican dish, you know. I'm big up my Puerto Rico people, them. And you just want to cut up your garlic, mince up your garlic. Yeah. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. And, and, and because I'm going to be making the, the, um, the beyond meat grounds, I'm mincing up my garlic to add to that. All right. Friend and client, good morning to you, Joy. <laughs> Big up yourself. <laughs> oh, good morning, Joy. <laughs> Thank you for logging on, Joy. Yeah, man, but Miami Gardens is one of the, 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 the cities that we're not hearing no problems. No police now run down nobody and nobody now spread no epidemic in Miami Gardens with us chillaxing. It's called Spanish lasagna. I make it sometimes very good. Sharon B, big good morning to you. Good morning. Queens in the house. Queens in, in the, the house. house. Hey, New, New York, York is in, in the house. house. Hey, baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. So, so it's a Spanish lasagna. It's called pla, um, Pastelon. That's the Hispanic name or the, the name from Puerto Rico where the dish originated. Pastelon. Maybe that little something hyphen over the L. You know? Pastelion. You know them talk a little way have a little accent. Them talk and have a little accent. So it's a pastelion. Pastelion. Alright. Let me see what's going on over here. Yeah. The plantains. Alright, no babes. You see how the plantains stay now? It you does. have to yeah, take out take out those. You know one trust me no man. You have to take them out once them get that color they take them out you don't want them to to get too soft that you can't manage them all right Cause remember it's gonna be baked you know okay it can stay a little longer just a little bit longer but 
Don't make it the brown, 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 brown. So guys, the first thing you want to do is you want to fry your plantains. All right? And you just want to make sure you control the flame so that your plantains don't burn. It's sort of hard to manage the bully for planting. And remember that planting has a lot of sugar and that's why plantains burn so easily or, or get brown so easily because it's naturally sweet. If they break up, some of them break up, it's not too much of a problem because you have to adjust them um, in, the, in the pot to get it to the place where you want to. Prayer kid, morning. Big up yourself, prayer kid. Atlanta is in the house. Hey, Georgia is in the house. Hey, you can't take out that one there. Take out that one there, baby. Take out that one there. I don't know how. Eh? I don't know how. Just lift it up. You want to use the egg lifter? You could have used the egg lifter. Yeah. All right. So while she's over there working her magic, I am over here working my magic. And my magic is to cut these scallions. I'm going to wash them off. Just cleaning up my skeleton, I don't want nothing, no foreign debris on the skeleton. Good morning, Pittsburgh in the house. Philadelphia is in the house. Pennsylvania is in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. This morning we are making a Spanish lasagna, a Latin favorite. It's called Pastelion. Me still I say Pastelion. No. Somebody have to correct me. Somebody have to correct me. Me know, but it just sound more Spanishy. Somebody tell me if me saying it right. Pastelion, or is Pastelion? Somebody tell me. The first are the say so one or two. The one number one is Pastelion. Yeah, you hear notice when so I do the energy. Pastillion, you have to put a little energy. Joy, I am not a chef. I am just somebody who loves to cook. That's all it is right there. <laughs> I am someone who loves the little cooking. So that's why I, I open my live so that people can drop a little suggestion here or there to help me out along the journey of cooking life. You know? But me like how I say, Pastillion, you know? Web Venture, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And guys, if you want to follow somebody, who, if you have a kid who does gaming, follow Web Venture. He is a gaming channel and he teaches kids how to play video game and all those things. All right. And if you want to do trading, follow Prayer Kid because Prayer Kid is a trader um, in currency currency. Prayer Kid trades currency currency. All right, and and prayer kid, me need to talk to you, you know. Me need to talk to you, so you need to DM me like yesterday because we want to talk about some things, you know. Because the way things are going right now, yeah, we need to talk, prayer kid. All right, all right, guys, I'm 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 getting down to it. I'm getting down to it. All right, now this plant based the um thing I've used them several times and they they actually are somewhat good. Them good. Me not me not this them. Don't be Um Now I'm going to cut my onions. In Jamaica word, in loving belly. <laughs> Prayer kid, you just throw people under the bus. So that's why I'm sorry for you. Know, I never go call Kino, you know. I never go call Kino you know, because you are going too bad with me now. <laughs> and Kino sent threat, by the way, you know. Prayer kid, Kino sent threat. Mm -hmm. Kino said, any day in book you up on the live, it done. You understand? So I don't know where I got them. I don't want to war from my, my life. I call police. You understand? Internet police and things. Alright. How we planting them? Look. Planting them are going over there. So. And guys, this is an easy and good way to utilize your plantings if you have excess. And also, it's a good way to just change up your, your diet a little bit. Yeah? Wow. You see, you see you, Joshua? Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, you in the food I share. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Prayer kid, you see the one Joshua do? You see the one Joshua do, prayer kid? Eh? If I need help, I can stay in bed. You see him do? 
It's all right here, Josh. You stay in your bed, sir. Stay in your bed. I hope when the dinner starts share, the breakfast starts share, you stay in your bed. See him wait. Wipe off my board, yeah? Oh. Prayer kids have tell him to stay in the bed. <laughs> And guys, most people will not do this part of it in terms of cutting up the, you know, adding onion and stuff. But I believe that if I'm doing the plant-based grounds, I should it should be seasoned as well. Me not like when things not seasoned. You understand me like when things have little crunch to it. I'm using some red onion and it's only because of red onion I have. Yeah, quarantine means say you can't do. Beggars are not choosers. Right now, you just get where you need and come back to your yard. Um, may I use some, some, some pepper, see so if we can find any pepper in our fridge. See, we need new pepper, you know? mm -hmm. We need some new pepper, because pepper get Russian now. And guys, I keep my scotch bonnet in the freezer. And this is also a nice little way to keep your, pe your pepper longer, because you don't have to buy pepper that often. And for those who don't like the excess pepper, it tones down the, the heat of the capsaicin. You hear that big word they see? Mm -hmm. Capsaicin. I'm just going to use a little bit of pepper. I don't use that much. Yeah, just because the wife doesn't like pepper, so I'm not really pressure with the pepper. I'm just going to use a little bit. Yeah. All right, see? Just a little bit of pepper may I use. I don't really use a lot of pepper. Because, you know, when the wife says she don't like pepper, you can't really too pressure the wife, you understand? So, see? Maybe we back some. All right. Yes, we do. Things are finished. Alright, that is going good over there. <laughs> Prayer kids say when Joshua come out, Pat for wash and turn down. <laughs> Same way so, Prayer kid. Same way so. And we sit on our watch TV. You understand? Who watch half a series for Netflix already because of this lockdown? Anybody? Anybody watch half an entire series of, of um, on Netflix? Or Hulu or, or Amazon or whatever? Why this lockdown thing? I'm afraid say, them people they have benefit of it, you know? You know? Netflix and all these things. Alright, so we have, oh, I have my, my tomato next. And these tomatoes I'm using, um, I'm just adding tomatoes because I have them. Um, yeah. So, just cut up the tomatoes. When, I, when I'm finished and I put the grounds in the pot, I cut up the tomatoes. All right, now if you want it to be straight vegan, you can add vegan cheese. But because, you know, I'm not in either here nor there, I am adding some regular cheese. All right, but you can add straight vegan cheese if you want it to remain vegan all right crystal says i you have you oh you watch you watch off one series already crystal you have one bad you're going on bad all right All right, all right, all right, all right. Now we're coming over to this spot right here. All right, baby, can I get some oil, please? Thank you, some olive oil. I appreciate you. Ferdy, Ferdy, you have pepper tree up there? Ferdy, you know, some more come up at West Palm, you know. I me come up there, you know, because a long time, we don't go, come out of the house. Shereen, good morning. From Baltimore. Baltimore's in the house. Um, Maryland's in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on, baby. Hey. All right, baby, I'm, I, you don't have to do any more work. I will do all of the rest of work. Because I'm just that, that nice husband. All right, see, somebody's asking him to hit the like button. Yes, family. Thank you, Landmad. Go ahead and hit the like button, you guys. Garlic. Why you don't come? Oh, 
Okay. Don't go too close, baby. Your the phone will run hot. Okay, zoom. Ooh, zoom in. Honey on. Beyond meat. Beyond meat. That's the first package. And this is the second package. And guys, I had one more in the fridge, so I just using what I have. Okay. Okay. You smell like beyond meat. <laughs> smell like meat already, right? Smell better than me. <laughs> <laughs> And guys, we have to give our, our body a, a little bit of break every now and then. You know, we can't be consuming animal protein right through 24 hours a day. You know, um, you know we, have to, we have to give our body a break. Especially in these times when sickness is one of the things on the radar. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You want to give your body a break. So that's what we're doing today. And you want to get your, your Beyond Meat going nicely. I'm going to cut up my tomato. The plantings, you guys. She does a show after her planting them, so. No, I'm just showing them. I'm not showing off. No, you are sure. Show you make planting, you are sure after you're planting them. Montreal in the house. Hey. Quebec in the house hey. canada in the house oh. hey baby, baby, baby come on baby, baby come on morning hey. benjim good morning to you oh. we are making a vegetarian dish did you put vegetarian no i put vegan that's wrong this that's, is that's vegetarian, vegetarian. Just like me, I put big, um, vegetarian this is a vegetarian dish that can be modified to become vegan if you take out the cheese or use a cheese substitute but yeah no meat and no, now I'm just cheese. adding my tomatoes and my scotch bonnet pepper epiphany inside it look delicious thank you epiphany Simon, Florida in the house Sim, Sima, who got 441 the keys to the in the house <laughs> Our Oakland in the house. <laughs> Somewhere in the house. Sim Sim. And guys, can you believe that this is all plant protein right here? Yeah. Can you believe that? Oh look look how this something look good. Yeah. It look good. Trust me. Plant protein. Good for the body and soul and the structure and the mind and the cavity. You good for the cavity? Jojo, good morning to you. Jojo P. Jojo, so it looks like corn beef. I'm going to sprinkle some something here. So it's not corn beef, Jojo. It's not corn beef. Wake up, junkie. Good morning. ATL in the house. Oh, there's something about Jojo is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> By way of New York. Okay. You don't think. Sassy, you don't think. I'm putting some paprika. What is replacing the meat? It looks like ground turkey. It's beyond the meat. It's beyond me. I mean, beyond meat. I'm using a little bit of cumin. And guys, cumin is one of those that they use to make curry. But cumin is also very flavorful on its own, especially when you're using um, heavy meat. Mm -hmm. I'm using a little oregano beyond beef and I'm using 21 seasoned um, salute from Trader Joe's you, you can use any type of all-purpose Mrs. Dash or anything like that if you want to Okay guys, just a little background as to what's in Beyond Meat. It's a pea protein um, base. 
and it has like rice flour, spices, tomato powder, and all these things. A little red cayenne pepper for the kick. Yeah, so this is pretty much made from a pea base. I don't like that word there. Pe yeah. Peas base. Yeah, say peas. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't want people to say me a pea in this one. I'm using some apple cider vinegar. Which I should use my tonic. I should have used my tonic, you know. Mm. But since we're already gone. Vegan to for 25 years. Respect Yardy. Okay. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Okay, Ben. Ben, blessings to you, sir. Yes, Jenny. This is plant based. This is total plant based. Crystal Hardless says I'm from Hartford. Connecticut in, in the, the house. house. Hey, Hartford, Hartford in, in the, the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on, baby. Whoa. I'm between New York and Boston. All right. In insurance. between is in the house. Hey. The insurance <laughs> capital of the world. All right. Okay. Awesome. 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 The plant-based meat we've got at Publix, so you can get it from Publix or I think any other supermarket for that matter, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love a lot of your recipes and how you suggest that you can use vegan instead of meat, which I'm really trying to stick with. And I also would like to see recipes on jackfruit. I have a couple recipes with jackfruit in it on my vegan playlist. If you go into my channel and search for Yadi Belly's vegan playlist, you will find a lot of jackfruit recipes. This is a genuine hispanic seasoning it's called pimento seasoning and if you go into the hispanic stores or the latin stores you will find this uh pimento seasoning you can ask for it pimento seasoning it's an interesting seasoning you guys it smells like pure pepper but yeah. it doesn't taste it gives the food a pepper flavor without the pepper without the pepper i'm here for it <laughs> this look ready now don't be yeah guys i'm let me taste it huh? i never put no salt in it I never put no salt. You want to video and tape me? In the house. Video tape me. Video tape me. O M G. We have your appetite. Hold on, man. Watch all this. No, your appetite, baby. My eye. Back up. Back up from it. That's not the problem. Something got in my eye. Tastes good, down. Mm -hmm. All right, back up. Stay all the camera from that angle. It's delish. All right. You know how I know I'm gonna love this dish because I always love sweet and savory food together. Sweet and savory, sweet and savory. Sweet and savory, sweet and savory. Try me a lock of that because I don't want it dry out anymore. Kerry Allen is in the house. Oh yeah, in the house. Hey, come on, come on, come on. All right, come over here, baby. Come on. All right, so I have my pan. I'm using this pan because I'll just throw away. And I have this. Any of these two can be used. You think I should pull the marinara Who sauce? Who told you to use our salsa? Should I pull the marinara sauce or use the salsa? Marinara. All right. You can use any sauce, guys, but a marinara sauce is a good one, okay? Mm -hmm. Very good, because the flavors stay true to the Latin, you know, um, type of roots. All right, so you pretty much... I'm gonna just... This pan is a non-stick pan. It's not damaged. It's just bad color. Stain, but not dirt. All right, I'm using a coconut spray, coconut oil spray. Yeah. Right, makeup junkie. You like sweet and savory too. Wow. And I'm gonna just add some marinara sauce to the bottom of the pan. All right. Now some folks, the purists can make this from scratch, but people like me, who have turn your hand make fashion, we just do what we have to do. All right. So there you go. Now, just pretty much set it so really Anish Shakir or whatever your pronunciation is you only live once stop this drama and eat a proper lasagna 
No, oh, please. You go ahead and you eat your proper lasagna. <laughs> More power to you eating your I proper lasagna. Yeah, well, this is not the time of day to eat a proper lasagna. <laughs> this is a breakfast dish. And this, you know, this is us a breakfast. These are breakfast ingredients that we're working yeah, with. Yeah, at least for, for us. For dinner. <laughs> and guys, we are coming with a proper lasagna recipe. Believe you me. We have the ingredients already. Already. So, for you... But this is not, this is not, this, guys, let me tell you something. You like this is not a vegan thing or a vegetarian thing. This is actually a dish from Puerto Rico. Yeah, it's an authentic. Yeah, it's, um, it's not, it's not because we want to say vegan or not yeah. like that. This is actually a dish from Puerto Rico. They, they make, they make this in the morning and they eat it like, like food. So don't think that we're, we're trying to mimic anything. This is actually the name of a dish. It's yeah. called pastelon. Pastelon. You know? So. Don't come for us, please. Please. This is Enram said this is a um what name the Hispanic dish. Mm-hmm. One only live once. Eat a burger now and then for dinner. Web venture, <laughs> go clean somewhere or something. <laughs> Web venture just wants strength. <laughs> him just wants somebody to straighten him. You see how them wish with whoever say whatever you see on come strengthen with son though. You only live once. Eat some pizzas <laughs> and hot dogs. Fried chicken. Bring them all on. Because you only live once. Right, so. <laughs> Magdalene M. Banga. Mm, M. Banga. Hello, Yardy. <laughs> all right. So now you're going to add the layer of like, such. And this is a small one, guys, because we're not planting to waste like that. Waste? Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, we just are doing thing, you know? Well, we're just making them out proportionate to the amount of people that we have. Get marginal utility. <laughs> <laughs> You're annoying. <laughs> you are late, but yeah, you can see the front part of the recipe, which you missed, but yeah. Oh, this look, Dave's? Good. It look like a real lasagna. <laughs> no pasta not in it, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> He's shaking his head. There's no pasta in it. Yes, there's none. <laughs> there's no pasta in it. But it has cheese though. Mm. <laughs> it look good though. All right, guys, so now you just want to take your mozzarella. And if you were, a, if we were doing it straight, um, Hispanic, it would be a case of fresco. And this is your melted cheese, yeah? But because you know you have the belly TV, you don't do things normal. <laughs> we have to oomph it up a little bit. We are going with some mild cheddar too. Janice, so when is the cookbook coming for real? Janice, may I tell you, Janice? Janice, trust me. But they are one that too. How many recipes are typically in a cookbook? But. 30? No, man, you can go with a little bit more if you want. Mm. So it's all about you and your cookbook, you know. Because all this now with a nice, if somebody do it over back in that with a jerk, you mm -hmm. know. But for the vegans out there, big up on yourself, yeah. Don't make them, oh, don't make them stifle or nothing. Yeah, you could use jerk ground beef. Mm-hmm. Or jerk. And then you just add back no more planting. Mm. Your hand is blocking. Then, but see, you know, work may work. <laughs> I'm not checking your jerk. I work, I work. All right, guys. Yeah. Ooh la la. Let's go dancing. Ooh la la la. That's incredible. Look how the plant them perfectly fried. Yeah. <laughs> you try squeezing your little fried plant and try you fry the plant them. You see how she try and squeeze in a little tail for another fried plant. Alright, now I'm gonna put the last leg. Wash my hand again. And you get a picture of this. 
so that you can see the progression. Well, I'm there. Yeah. Left, right, left, right, left, right, soda. Get right, get right, get right, soda. Get right, left, right, left, right, soda. Okay. Cool and the gang, yes. <laughs> All right, we're not using our traditional regular oven. We're not using the um, conventional oven. We're using the convectional oven, which is a air fryer oven, right? Yeah. And ramp um, endorses your meal. It says it looks amazing so far. Thank you, N rank. Ferdinand said, My wife say yes, Candy. They are perfect in size and color. Him need you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my friend. Pick up yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The dish wouldn't be the same without my plantains. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> match, match, go on by your business, match. And stop encouraging her. Wow. Alright guys, so on the top now, you really don't want, you don't have to go too, too thick. Mm -hmm. And guys, as I said, we, we're doing this in proportion to, you know, who they are the yard and mm -hmm. first time trying it when I really uh, pressure the thing. Alright? Yeah. And guys, remember our mantra is turn your hand make fashion, so turn you don't your, have to use mm -hmm. what we use. You get, use get the, the principle, yeah, yeah, get the principle. But you could fill it with whatever you want to fill it with and whatever proportion. Wish I could have some. If you funny inside, I always told you. Because we have one square of a leave back in. One, one square of a leave back? But me, I get two square. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you could have given up one still. All right, so you want to add a little bit more of the cheese. Mm -hmm. Madge, I'm sure you're going to try this. Madge, I have to try this. Yeah. Because he's a top chef, security of the world, right? <laughs> Top flight. <laughs> top chef. All right. And and then you're going to go back again okay. before you, before we finish up. Focus oh, yourself. You're going to go back with a little bit more. Wait, I'm trying to capture the picture. Yeah, but you can capture it. You can capture it. Go back with a little more of the marinara sauce. And guys, sometimes store-bought stuff is not overly bad. You just have to know how to mix it with fresh ingredients, mm -hmm. you know, to get what you want. In the, especially in these times, you know, you, you, some things are limited. It's not business as usual in most places. Mm -hmm. So you just have to turn your hand. I make fashion and this can be a nice dinner too with a salad uh -huh. you know let me give you a tip you guys regarding marinara sauce if you buy marinara sauce this size and you utilize it for one dish make sure you have another dish that use this ingredient in the near future because they do go bad mm -hmm. quickly i find mm -hmm. so make sure you have another dish in mind so all right pasta it is for joshua oh this looks so good Oh my gosh. That looks nice. That looks really nice. And then I'm just going to finish up again. Just being extra. You know? Yes. Just to finish up with one tap with. Really? And Ram? What's that? Big word. Utilize. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! <laughs> no, Edward, come here this morning. I tell you, no like big words. That's mm. my regular everyday word. You lies. Okay. <laughs> oh, everyday word. Actual rank. Actual rank. Actual. Actual. <laughs> All right. One thing, as I said, we did not do is we did not add any excess salt. You okay. know what this Yeah. And planting is super sweet. Right. So. I'm just adding a little bit of salt on the top, and this is some black Himalayan sea salt. Shana James says she always wanted to make See? this. Hawaiian sea black salt. Mm -hmm. Him asked for some earlier on one ignore me. 
we just want to nap on the way. <laughs> we are coming so from. <laughs> Johnny is George. You put a delicious, delicious recipe and go on Amazon, create space, and create your best selling cookbook. It's not that expensive. Johnny is Jones, listen, DM me and make me a reason about this thing. Because me not really that um, computer savvy, you know. So, me I tell you if you do it for me. Re link me up and make me, make me take it to the next level. Alright, so our oven is on now. Convectional oven. And we're going to just make that go on. Do it thing. Alright, now you have to put it on you and talk about what this, the program is sponsored by. Until it's all ready. Alright, you guys. <coughs> Yes, yes, yes. That's what real cooking we're doing here, you know. Real cooking. We know we're not fake cooking. We are really cooking. Yeah, trust me. How long in our stain oven? Um may, may just go and watch it because at the top we really have work off at the top. Oh no. Okay you guys. <clears throat> Ignore the ear, Miss. Ignore the ear. Anyway, <laughs> so this morning's breakfast live, you guys, is brought to you by none other than none one, other than one true natural. My hair is looking a mess, but it's still nice and shiny, okay, and healthy looking, thanks to one true natural. <laughs> One True Natural is my product line. It has 100% organic, all natural ingredients. And the flagship product for One True Natural is the Shine of Mine. And it is a nourishing oil blend. Yes, this is what it looks like. It has a spray um, bottle cap at the top here. That is awesome for nourishing the scalp, keeping the scalp healthy. See my scalp? Look at it. <laughs> yes. It's very nourishing mint. Yes. <laughs> it keeps your scalp healthy whether you're wearing your natural hair or you're wearing weaves or you're wearing braids whatever protective styles the oil is necessary to keep your hair healthy it is good for locking in the moisture when you moisturize it here you find that it gets dry easily if you actually put a layer of this oil blend over your moisturize here it helps to seal the moisture in for a longer period of time it gives your hair an amazing sheen or shine and it is also awesome for the skin I can tell you it has an amazing smell a nice you know kind of therapeutic smell and yeah come always feel like a therapy you know? <laughs> and our second product is the big dog 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 the Jamaican black castor oil and this thing it seems to be you know readily available all over the shelves but believe you me or not believe me you not all Jamaican black castor oils are created equal 99% of the time or maybe I'm exaggerating a lot, no, of the time, a lot of the time a lot of the time the oils say Jamaican black castor oil on the label however if you look at the back of the the, the um, packaging and read the ingredients then you will see Jamaican black castor oil, sunflower oil, this oil, that oil. They do add other oils most of the time and you don't get the authentic, the full, you know, potential of the product because it's not pure. And you can know the genuine product because of the smell of it. It has a nutty smell. Yeah, that is amazing. And the final product is this genius um <laughs> castor oil mascara it's not being picked up properly on camera yeah anyway it's a castor oil mascara which is really a brow and lash growth and thickening treatment has a typical mascara wand that you use to apply the product to the brow and the lashes and it is is known i've gotten rave reviews about you know people who has lash mi lashes missing or sparse brows you know it works wonders so again it just fixed my lash see there <laughs> look at look at me look lashes <laughs> so you guys if you would like to visit our website we are on etsy at www.etsy.com 
slash shop slash one true natural or you can just go to our instagram page follow one true natural and then the shop link is right there in the bio all right so you guys one true natural get your life <laughs> all right so let me see if i missed any comments good suggestion jenny is they have a lot of recipes trust me he has recipes to do like five cookbooks um you're going to stay alive till it finish yeah we are it doesn't take that long enough because everything is already pre-cooked so it's just for the ingredients to set right yeah to marry and, to mar <laughs> and ram big word <laughs> marry <laughs> it's just for the, the ingredients to marry and cause the two things to kind of come together and hold together so that when you cut it it is you know solidified and not separate right, mm -hmm. right. you hear that enram solidified <laughs> oh god massachusetts in the house hey. salem's in the house Whoa. hey baby, baby come on one love welcome welcome Robert Brooks, good morning to you. I made your version of oxtails recently and tag you on Instagram. Very good. Thank, Thank you for you the so recipes. Much. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yes, I remember, and you, I remember. you guys, if you guys make any Yardy Belly TV inspired dishes, be sure to post it and tag Yardy Belly TV on Instagram or Facebook. Or, or any social media. Jenny says she will get the information for you. Janice, thank you so much. Beverly Goring, good morning. Good morning to you too. Beverly! Beverly! <laughs> All right, Madge speak. Madge on the floor now. Girl, want you natural sponsor of the show? Yes, girl. <laughs> Yarda Belly, you in good company. I endorse too. I use One True Natural all the time for my daughter. It is great help with dry scalp. So there you heard it, um, guys, from a... Uh, uh, a Try. actual customer who can tell you that the product is tried and true tried and true barrington you are late good morning to you good barrington, morning barrington can't believe you're not coming early to tell me what to put in the <laughs> i hear that thing that barrington that would they say oh barrington no come on because we need somebody to tell me what to put in the pastel on you see mm -hmm. i'm no. gonna see barrington one true natural you guys. Right, you know you have a you have a you have a appointment every Thursday at ten. Nice. You understand? So I'm gonna see how come you know you know the, you know, the, the, the studio. You have an appointment by Jane. Every Thursday morning at ten you have an appointment, Barrington. So you know, I mean this is just unacceptable. You understand? Un unacceptable. Trust me. Oh Jesus. And guys since we're waiting on the food, might as well I tell you guys about my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try to bring it up. Teach them okay. to give it a thumbs up. Guys. 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 What time? Oh, we have a, we have, we're doing good, man. We're not going mm -hmm. over over yet. All right, you guys. So let me show you real quick how to do the thumbs up. I understand that some of you might not be aware as to how to come out of the chat in order to do the thumbs up so all right let me flip the camera all right so here you have it so this is the chat all right you're in the chat talking and all these things now, in order to hit the like button or the thumbs up button, what you do is you close out the chat for a quick second with that X. And then it brings you to the main page where you see the title of the video and immediately underneath you see the like button and the dislike button. However, we do not deal with like dislike button because anybody who hits the dislike button is a loser. All right. So you hit the like button right here. Oops. Right what? Right here. Right one. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the like button right here, and then in order to get back to the chat, you just hit live chat again, and you are back in business. All right, so 
Let me look if I can find my YouTube channel so that they can follow me. <laughs> do it on the camera, babes. No, but I want to show them. Yeah, so do it on the camera. Alright, so my YouTube channel is... Is... Is this. My YouTube channel is Natural Hair Namics, you guys. No. Where are they? Where you find the name of the channel, babe? Hmm? Where you find the front part of your channel? Okay. Alright, so there you have it, you guys. This is the YouTube channel. I don't know why it's not focusing. Because you have the camera too close to the, ca to the other camera. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so you guys go ahead and please do me the favor and following Natural Hair Namics. It is primarily a hair channel. However, I do do vlogs also. And um, I have a video coming up, you know, showcasing what I eat in a day. And this is the quarantine edition. So most of what we prepared is stuff that is good for immune system or immune building rather. So, yeah follow natural aerodynamics because Yardy Belly TV endorsed her. Endorsed it. A.K.A. me. <laughs> he is officially endorsed it. What year are you showing? Ferdinand, you need to plant one of these trees. Okay. If I crack my teeth. Simone Kelly. Come on, so where is Ernie? Sherlyn said, I watch when you go to grocery shopping. I want you to know I love liver. Me love liver too. <laughs> we actually love liver. But we only eat liver like twice a year. As an organ. We don't believe that it should be eaten, but we eat it still. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Unacceptable now, we can't make suggestions because the food already made. It's true, and wrong. It's true. Oh. <laughs> Barrington, is, is, Barrington just a, a strolling in late. Barrington, he said, was looking for you this morning. Barrington, we're there. You did last. We are there, <laughs> Beji. If you don't see the notification and you go on the page, you would see the last? Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you, Len. Just follow the, the IG pages. I hear solidify. <laughs> Tell me where did... This is not, uh -huh. we can't save a seed for you to plant. <laughs> what, what? Ferdy asks where you get the seed. This is actually my neighbor's tree. Ferdy, those things are only available in Miami Garden. Not West Bar. What are you eating? We are eating Jamaican Ota Eti Apple. You, um. Can you? Ooh, la la. Can you? It's time for the main event. Put this down. I try to clean up the place and make the place look like a nice ish. Oh, oh wait, wait, no. For the people they marry themselves. Am I the only one who don't really maintain my hair during the quarantine? <laughs> Once it got washed and twisted up, that was it. And then I just oil it and put a leave-in conditioner every now and then to make sure it keeps soft but yeah all right show the people them this up all right food you guys food <clears throat> Ta -da! planting what name pastelon pastelon uh, spanish lasagna spanish lasagna save me that one 
<laughs> Ferdy, I save him this one. Ferdy. Anytime you're ready, Ferdy. Anytime you're ready. Look at my last text. The Jenny's last text. Hmm. Okay, I will. I will get the info. You look lovely. Thank you, Janice. Me no see me shatter. <laughs> Thank you so much, Janice. I I try my best to look lovely as much as possible. <laughs> you know. As uh, Barrington said, no notification. John Doe, how did to you too? John Doe, big up yourself over there in Massachusetts. Let me come for a tree branch. I don't know if we can get a lady tree branch. We probably can ask her. Yeah. You have to buy a, a, a black cake from her and she get a tree branch. <laughs> <laughs> She's hell black cake. <laughs> her hair is truly natural. Guess Charlene it is. Looks super yummy. Yep. You are not the only one, dear. My hair is a mess. LOL. I'll take a corner piece. <laughs> it's only corner piece because we plan to cut it in four i think <laughs> looks delicious cut it already <laughs> all right guys the things are gone No, remember I said John Doe, come on, you know, John Doe, a big chef, you know, so I have a, and Barrington, I have to show off a little bit, okay. you know, as them, them have flat me, mm. you know. This look really good though. Oh, picture, how come I not take the, the uh, that picture wonder, before it cut? Uh, that me I wonder, that me they I wonder. No, sir. Remember I told you. The people they might rush with a cut with something. Ferdy. Ferdy, stop rushing with no man. They're not showing properly, but hey, you get it. Do it. So put on the camera. Ba, ba, put ba, on the ba, camera ba, and do ba. it, baby. No man, me take it. As I was just trying to show them the picture, but it's Joy Seven. Say it look delicious. Jojo said me I come for peace. I'm gonna go gilook none. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if we can push it out with a six, six inch, six feet stick, I'll give you six feet apart. <laughs> <laughs> we slide it through the door. <laughs> we'll slide it through the door, I'll give you. But only three, uh, oh no, so the fourth piece is, no, so this is a fourth piece here. Yeah, <laughs> well, if we can do a, a giveaway raffle. <laughs> <laughs> I never get any notification either. I just have to watch the time. Okay. See, it's important. Oh, la la. Oh, my gosh. You're the belly. You're the belly. You're the belly. Oh, my gosh. You guys. No, sir. Joshua, you see what's going on? Look at that. If you guys, for my people who likes the umami flavor, oh my gosh, sweet and savory together, this is heaven. It's, it tastes good. It tastes really good. Heaven right here. All right, let me take this off now and put the plate up. Mm -hmm. All right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh-huh. Breakfast lasagna, we say. <laughs> Awesomeness. There you oh, have it, guys. It? My paston <clears throat> or Spanish lasagna. Yeah. All right. Let me tell you the downside to it now. I could have made the cheese into a little bit more sauce. Yes, he is out of school. Um, I could have made the cheese a little bit more saucy so that it, it flows a little better. Or use the sliced cheese instead of the the um instead of the shredded cheese or add more cheese. But it overall still looks very, very good. Looks super delicious. Yeah, and that, that's because I took it out when it was sort of hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, you were... know, if we didn't make it if cool and congeal cool. a little bit, right. you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be stretch, like feeling stretchy. But... So you and Joshua can leave for no one for cool. <laughs> 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 mm. But the flavors are up. It looks good. 
and trust me, it smells so good. It smells so good. Oh, and peas. Jojo, you come for peas? Hurry up. Watch your man. Jeez, um, peas. Jeez, um, peas. All right, guys. This is one of the one for the books. So our time is way gone. Well, we're just about an hour. Thank you for watching, for liking, for subscribing. Remember to tell a friend. Share it on your page. Madge says the presentation is wonderful as always. Thank you so much, Madge. Ferdy, so I'm key them, I drive them. Hi. Jojo says she's a car now. Who first reach? Who first reach? Get it, Madge. Somebody in a car come now. John Doe, big up yourself, Cherise, big up yourself. Thank you once again, guys. Remember to just check out the Belly TV. Spend some time on the channel and see what go on. And we are sure, sure, positive that you're going to like it. You take pictures, babes? You take some pictures already of this? Mm -hmm. Please do take some pictures because if did. anything, we can bite it up on the camera. Come on, Joshua Tacey, because he was part of the, the no meat scenario a while ago. Mm -hmm. The real... um. Talk about real, oh you should have used real beef you shouldn't use that makeup um junkie that. blessings lorna blessings to you all right let me set my camera so that you guys can see uh what's going on yeah yeah so what she's doing now is that she's taking our thumbnail no beverly may not have no book out yet it, it we, we're we're just talking about it so continue to pray for us yeah all right, you did not take a side picture. I need a side picture. Yeah. All right, in it. Let me get that edge. So you have to take picture for way for the thumbnail for the video. Yeah. Yeah, we have to take some thumbnail shots. <laughs> Pretty some amount of water, jeez. All right, we're gonna go in close and get a closer. Yeah. Just just say if we have a party. <laughs> and here okay. is our planting lasagna, Spanish lasagna or pastelon, mm. and this is what Yadabella TV made this morning. So if you wanna see how it is made, please go over to the channel and like share and subscribe asap it looks so good it tastes so good guys mimota water mimota water mimota 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 water all right so that was the video that we have to post on with, with social media and now it's time for the tasting hallelujah glory to god because somebody in here are dancing you know, guys me just me not say who somebody in here are dance <laughs> but now nah says who And some, all of a sudden, somebody come out of them bed. Mm -hmm. You understand? Somebody just miraculously um, appear yeah, out of them bed. Out He's already out here. All right. So, see. Mm -hmm. Take a seat. Take a seat and do your take thing. She's trying to get it off. And guys, it's usually better to make it um, cool up a little bit. So that, if you, especially if you're taking off a little piece. Yeah. Grab your thing now. You and I shared a little amount there. Mercy me. What is? Mm -hmm. Wow. No, sir. Dash tears it now. <laughs> no, man. You can't, you can't do no more expression. It, it just tears good. It tastes good. And oh, that is the edge. Is. The crispy edge with a crunch. Whoa. Watch how she gone in. Watch her. She gone in. Hold on a minute. She gone in. I think this might be my slice still in the first. You have to mash up the whole thing now. Jeez, I'm pissed because she mash up the whole thing. Come, baby, you have to take a seat. No, you are doing your thing. No, no, We want them to know that we're not lying. We're telling the truth. Sit down. All right, guys. For my first time, you know, um, making this and trying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First and foremost, let me tell you, the pimento seasoning is amazing because it gives it this. Where you get that? 
I get it at the Latin store, brother Watson gave me. But it gives it give it this super peppery vibe, you know, even though it is not peppery. Mm. Come drop one more. I can't explain. <laughs> I can't explain either. First and foremost, I miss the ground beef. You, you miss I the know. ground beef? Honestly. What? You don't even miss the ground beef. Mm, say about, mm. <laughs> Guys, it tastes exactly like me, like ground beef. It does. I like this so sweet. The, the plantains. It tastes really good. So for the person who said why not just make regular lasagna, remember this is not lasagna any at all. Mm -hmm. It is actually a different dish, a more unique dish, uh, and, and it is 100% different. So I am, am inviting you to try it in your neck of the woods. <laughs> you have to try this one. Me now, I don't talk. Ferdy said, I'm bringing scotch bonnet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Ferdy, trust me. If you let me know when I come down here for two, tell me when I come, let me try and make one for me. Trust me. Because it, it worked it. It worked it. Mm -mm. Mm. Wait. Mm. Mm -mm. Why just come clean back or something, so? Wow. <laughs> what? What about dolphin? Freddy say I need a piece bringing money, dolphin ticket. What will it <laughs> take? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Oh. If I bring scotch body pepper, if I bring everything, <laughs> Shereen, how old is Joshua? Shereen, why you like him? <laughs> Shereen, he's <my> sixteen. <laughs> they might check you out, Joshua. <laughs> they might check you out, guys. Once again, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we thank you for spending time with us. Um, it's always good to just get creative, especially now that we, most people are stuck at home. Just get creative, you know. Turn your hand and make fashion. Make it work, you know. Um, use what you have to make something beautiful. For Yard Belly TV, it's been a, a good day. Coffee, you have to go back and watch this cup. Coffee. Coffee, coffee. <laughs> Remember, I tell you, coffee. You have to watch back the video. Yeah. You, if, you, if you don't watch nothing else, watch back this video. Because you will be like, are you kidding me? I promise you. And when you watch it and you make it, tag me so that we know. Guys, remember to check out the description box for, to follow us on all social medias. And remember to, to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And until then, we will talk to you again. And the, the, she doesn't have the pastel answer. She can't talk again for the channel. You know? <laughs> I'm out over the full. Trust me. We shall speak. We will talk to you. Stay safe. Stay sanitized. Stay blessed. Live and laugh. Cook and eat. Cook and eat. Peace. Juice and drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God.